welcome back. And for those of you who just happen to be stumbling across my video, my name is Valentina and this is my viewpoint. In today's video, I will once again be talking about the brand Lug, more specifically their newest wallet slash clutch called the Zeppelin. This wallet is beautiful. I purchased mine off the QVC website in butterfly gray. I like it. Will it take the place of my Splits XL? No. Now, little quick story time. When I first saw this wallet advertised, I had no interest in it whatsoever. I have a few Splits XLs, which is my favorite lug wallet of all time. Um, you know, I got recently the mini handspring, the Tendu. I had all the wallets I could possibly need. Then I started watching presentations and a thought occurred to me. I really also like the little pouch that comes with the tenor set. It found it very convenient. I love that it's so thin, so it's very slim profile, easy to put in a multitude of bags, and I really enjoyed it. But the one thing that's kind of annoying about it is it only has a top zipper. So it's a little hard to get in and out of. It wasn't a deal breaker for me. I still use it when I use my tenor or if I want a slimmer profile wallet. So it's not an issue. But the thought occurred to me as I was watching the presentation that this kind of reminded me, especially the inside configuration to a degree of that pouch. The difference being that this actually has an all around zipper. So I decided to order it. And it is exactly what I was hoping it would be. It is a little bit bigger than the tenor pouch. I'll put a picture here to demonstrate. So it might not fit in all the bags that I want it to, but that also is not a deal breaker. So let's get on to showing you the wallet. First up, you'll see it does have that beautiful new double stitch quilting. Um, I love it. It gives it that nice squishy feel. It has their button logo that says live life in color. I think it's very cute. On the front here, it does have a slip pocket. Give you a shot of that inside pattern. Um, as you know, we all discovered there is no magnetic closure. This does fit my phone. This is my sample phone, which is roughly the size of my iPhone XR with its attached pop socket. It does fit in there. However, I will not be using this to put a phone in because it falls out. So that is definitely a deal breaker for using that as my phone slip pocket. Not something I'm upset about. I'll just slip some receipts in there or just some, you know, something. I wouldn't put a checkbook. I wouldn't put your phone. On the back side, you'll see it has a zippered compartment. This is absolutely where I keep my change. Now, I have had to affix a little clasp and I will tell you why. Lug zippers are so smooth that unfortunately, and this I found to be the case with the majority of the wallets that I own that have the zipper in the back, including my beloved Splits XLs, they open when you don't want them to. They'll just kind of open on their own very easily. So <clears throat> if you wanna keep anything, you know, like you're changing there and secure, um, I recommend doing something to what I did, which is I have affixed this little gunmetal clasp to the wristlet hole and then the actual zipper itself just to keep it secure and closed. But it's actually quite a generous pocket. And the one thing that I have discovered, if you really want to carry your phone on the outside of this, it won't fit with the attached pop socket. It makes it very, very difficult to zip over the top but if you're like me and you have a phone case that has a recessed hole where the pop socket is built in or if you just have a case in general with no pop socket it fits in really nicely and zips up without a problem so if you prefer to keep your phone in a zipper compartment that is an option for you the other thing is as you can see it has a fully removable wrist strap. Very, very easy on and off. Don't have any issues with that. Really, really like it. I just keep mine on in my purse. Doesn't bother me. And this way I always know where it is. And if I do want to kind of take a grab and go situation, it's just easy to do that. The other thing that I really love, there are double zippers. So it gives you the opportunity to open this wallet any way you choose. I don't know, for this one, for some reason, I prefer opening it when I'm looking at it, I prefer opening it from the top. 
that's just me but this does absolutely give you an opportunity to decide which way you would like your zippers to go again very smooth per lug standard i love how this opens i kind of feel like it's a book because it opens completely flat that is amazing you see every single thing that you have in here at a glance and i just i love that let me go over these two slip pockets first you do have two of them in the first one you see i just have some receipts stuck in there in the second you will see i have my check book this is great for a passport uh, i've seen that passports fit in here or anything that you want to fit but just bear in mind it can kind of slide out so i've decided i'm either not going to carry the entire checkbook uh, maybe just a check and the registers or i'm going to put it somewhere differently where i feel comfortable and i'll show you some other options in this wallet but i, I haven't really decided how i want to carry this checkbook yet very very nice though very spacious does have the contrasting pattern here, but then your butterfly gray right here. Another thing that I love, and I think this is so adorable, it has a D ring and it comes with a tiny little keychain that you can put your keys in. Admittedly, I will not be doing that. Um, I don't want to put my keys in here, but I do think there can be so many uses for this little keychain, not just as a keychain. I actually can foresee attaching this to the outside of a bag and then putting your hand sanitizer on here, especially if you have one of the smaller bags, there's just going to be a multitude of uses for this little key ring. I love that it's on a pivot. Um, I really, really do like this feature. So I will find tons of ways to use this. You also can see that there is quite a large pen loop. I really like that as well because I can carry with me my one of my favorite pens. This is an erasable pen that I just write in my checkbook register with. Sometimes with pen loops, especially inside wallets, you have to carry a thinner pen. I just prefer the thicker barrel pens and that fits perfectly. Onto this side, you will see there are six card slots, three and three. They do not have that contrasting trim i prefer the contrasting trim not a deal breaker though with regards to me liking this wallet i can double up cards in here if i need to for my personal cards i carry with me 10 and that includes my identification so i can fit all of that in here with no issue doesn't bulk out the wallet too much or anything of that nature i will say that i wish that this pocket or this one were clear I really do miss a clear identification window, but I keep my license here because I just want it to be more secure. And then I keep my two most used cards at the very top, more easy access, it's quicker for me. Behind the card slots, you will see one slip pocket. In here, you can keep bills or I have a spare check in here at the moment. And I also have a little thing of postage stamps. Um, and that's what I'll be utilizing that area for. Behind that slip pocket, you do have another pocket which absolutely can fit your bills, not a problem. I can even put my checkbook in this top slip pocket. I'm not 100% sure if I like it because I feel like it bulks out this area a little bit too much, but it's all personal preference. This wallet has plenty of areas for you to decide how you want to configure it. I do recommend this wallet. Like I said, I think it's beautiful. I find it interesting that it's not quilted all the way around. You can see the back is smooth. I don't mind that. Uh, I think it was a nice aesthetic choice having it in the front and then not having it here. I have been using it now for a few days. I, it is big though. Uh, so, you know, I always feel like, oh, you know, <laughs> I don't know, that's just me. But anyway, that is it for this video. Um, I hope you found it helpful. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. And I hope you all have a good one.